So this is going to be my first test of the uh, VT100 emulator that was built way many, many, many videos ago. Uh, and got into the whole video series of trying to program the PIC processors. But it's only time to get power applied to this thing and see if it actually works. So I've just got an old VGA monitor here that I apparently bought for $5 at some point. Uh, I've got a PS2 keyboard here that was new old stock. Picked up at a local surplus place. It was $2. It's got a nice fresh keyboard. I'm using a TTL to RS-232 level converter here and I just still have this adapter on it from way back. And I've got pins 2 and 3 bridged together there so it's just in a loopback configuration. I've got a bench power supply hooked up here to the board. Let's see what happens. Let me turn the power supply on. Well, the first good thing is we've got the red LED and hopefully you've got at least some view of the screen here. There is the uh, information on the terminal itself. So that's very sweet. And yep, it's receiving characters, transmitting them out. They're getting looped back and back in. So everything there is working. I didn't know if this little adapter card was going to work. Uh, I'm picking up 3.3 volts to power it off this connector here. And apparently 3.3 is enough to run it, at least in this configuration. So uh, let's get into the setup screen. So you can shift F12, I believe. H turns off the startup message, 2 to hide. K to save changes. I'll cycle the power here on the board. And we just have a blinking cursor and they'll start up. That's very nice. Test. Carriage return. Control J is line feed. So let's get down towards the bottom. So it's this return. And this return. Control J. And I believe the screen will now scroll and the top line should move off the top of the screen. And it did. That's perfect. Control J again. There's no way for it to beep, so I'm sure Control G won't do anything. I'm assuming it responds to VT100 commands. It should, so let me see if I can slide the keyboard in here a bit. I don't know if I can get to the point where you can see it or not. Let's try to move some of this around and out of the way without blowing stuff up. Oh, power got unhooked. visibility onto the keyboard. Not really. Well, I'll have to just talk you through what I'm doing. So let me get some track text on the screen. Control J. Control J. Control J gets me to the next line. Control J. And then an escape. Let's see that bracket. Escape bracket. Two and an uppercase J. I cleared the screen. Escape bracket 2J, escape bracket H. Oh, and H homes the cursor. So the cursor is currently not homed. It's sitting here. Escape bracket capital H will home the cursor. That's the two V2100 command sequences I, I remember. So it is responding as it should to basic VT100 commands. I'm sure there's been a thousand videos about this board done out there. Escape bracket to J will clear the screen, but leave the cursor where it is. And then escape bracket uppercase H homes the cursor, and it does. Yep, so basic VT100 stuff is working there. This is awesome. So, really, the next step is to get this plugged into my Altair and see if we can actually use editors and things that are meant for VT100 escape codes. So, I guess with that said, there's not much more to look at here. It works. All that effort that went into figuring out how to program the PIC processors has finally paid off. Uh, if you didn't see those videos, search for them, because I went through uh, a lot of trouble 
before I finally got the PIC32 processors to actually program for this. Anyhow, we'll talk soon.